When it comes to strap training for BJJ, there are five really important things we have to address. The first one is maximum strength. So maximum strength is really going to help us become stronger and express as much force as we can. So there are a lot of different, um, a lot of different situations and positions where we might need to use our maximum strength. One of them is during takedowns. For example, when you get somebody in a single leg or in a, in a double leg or like body lock, you have to lift the person up and throw him down on the ground. That really requires maximum strength to lift somebody who is heavier than you. Let's say if you fight in the open class and so on. Then the other uh, reason why maximum strength is important is because when we're having a grappling exchange and if you're fighting somebody who is weak than you, you can impose your game on him, you know, you can dominate him because you're stronger, you can pull more, you can push more, you can now balance him better and you can just control the pace of the match. That's why maximum strength is really important. The second really important thing about strength training is we have to address strength and endurance. Strength and endurance is your ability to uh, like repeat and express force production. So later on in the matches, when you have fatigue, you have to be able to still continue to have these high efforts of strength and force that you can exert on your opponent so you can dominate him throughout the whole round, throughout the whole match. Typically, most fighters, they have um, gas tank, can wow for a little bit, but after three, four minutes, five minutes in the match, they really fatigue and they can't really have the expression of strength anymore because they haven't trained this like ability. So all of these abilities, they're being trained in the weight room. They're being trained in the gym. So we have to lift weights, we have to do two or three times a week of training so it can really help us become better athletes, better at BJJ and at grappling. The third really important uh, factor we have to address when it comes to training for BJJ is grip strength. So grip strength is really important because this is the whole nature of like grappling. In order for you to like, grapple, you must impose a grip on your opponent. It might be a sleeve grip, a gi grip, uh, control on the wrist, um, a tie on the collar tie. You might have a like pinch headlock or whatever. You might have a lot of different grips, you know. So all these constant gripping, grabbing, and so on are really taxing on your forearms, on your fingers as well. So it doesn't matter if you do gi or like no gi or just even MMA, you have to be able to have strong grips. So strong fingers, forearm and, uh, and the grip strength as well. You can also see that sometimes when you do a lot of like strangles in BJJ and grappling, your forearms and arms are burning out a lot, you know. That's why you have to develop this maximum strength, strength endurance and grip strength so you can continue to exert this force keep on grabbing, pulling, squeezing, and so on. One of the most common things that's happen when you have a skilled opponent fighting against you, when you're, let's say, locking up a dart stroke or anaconda, or like a, let's say, head and arm variation, often when you're applying the pressure for too long and the opponent is trying everything to defend, your grip is burning. Your strength is burning out, you're burning your arms out, and after 30, 40 seconds of, um, pushing and fighting for to, to get the win and the submission, you arms out. That's why we have to perform um, strength training so we can improve our grip strength and arm strength so we can finish off attacks and we can finish strongly in the match. From my personal experience, one of my main attacks is a dart stroke. I love anacondas, darses and, uh, and guillotines as well. I think them three really go along if you know how to mix them, how to combine your attacks. And what happened, I rode with somebody once and I had him on the stroke for nearly two like, minutes, you know. I was trying to finish off, he was defending very well, he was spinning around, he was turning, he was going on his back, he was escaping, but I didn't, I didn't let go of my grip. And I knew it was on, I had to get it a little bit tighter, I took my time, and after two minutes of constant battle, I, I could manage to like, to, to finish the guy with darts, with the very first submission I did on him, you know? So what I'm saying is, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because it just showcases how much effort, how much strength, endurance and grip strength you have to have in order for you to be, to, to, to be successful and you can impose your game on your opponent. That's really a key thing. The fourth very important factor when considering training for BJJ is isometric strength. So what is isometric strength? 
Isometric strength is when we have uh, a muscular contraction, we don't change the length or the angle of our muscle or of our joints. For example, let's say you have locked up an RNC job on somebody and there is no much moving in the arms up and down, you just squeeze in as much as you can. So this is an isometric contraction. Um, or let's say you just play in guard, you have an overhook on somebody and a grip on his neck and you're just holding him down, you don't want to allow him to get up in posture. You just keep pulling down, you don't have much change in your arms, in your angle, in your muscles. This is all isometric strength. So isometric strength is really important for BJJ as it helps you with uh, like passing, with gripping, with sweeps, with attacks and with finishing. With finishing uh, choke holes and submissions, even the arm bars and knee bars and so on. That's why it's really important. Um, and we have always throw with somebody who, let's say, might have an attack on you, he might have a strangle, like a guillotine choke or an anaconda or an RSE. The choke isn't quite there, the technique isn't quite there, the angle is a little bit off. Just because that person is stronger, they have really good isometric strength, they're able to finish you because they can exert a lot of force in a very short period of time. So, quite often, Jiu Jitsu is never going to be like perfect, you know. When you're always somebody who is talented, who is better than you, who is more skilled, you have to use your physical attributes. Again, it's a combat sport, we need to use our bodies, it's not just a chess game. It's a human chess, so we use our human body. So we have to use our strength levels and physique and uh, athletic abilities so we can impose our game on our opponents. That is what is really key for BJJ strength training. And the fifth and last component of strength training for BJJ is posterior chain strength. What is, what is this? What is posterior? Posterior basically means the back side, the back muscles. So that can be our lats, our rear delts, our glutes, and our hamstrings. Basically, all the muscles on the back, they have to be really, really strong. Why is that? Because we have all the time, we have pushing, we have pulling, we have a lot of pulling, of balancing. Let's say if you're even if you're doing grip, uh, if you're standing on your feet, if you perform a judo throw or sweep or takedown, constantly grabbing the sleeves and the, like, and the collar on the jacket, you're pulling to all balance, you're making these entries and so on. Um, that's why our back strength needs to be uh, needs to be quite good and then for also finishing yes we do finish with with our arms and a lot of strangles we also use a lot of our lats our lats are these big strong back muscles here that really help with this movement when you pull when you're pulling back putting the elbow behind your body and most of the choke you're pulling down you're pulling down up to your body so it's the same the same movement the same muscles are being used here yeah that's why our back needs to be quite strong, it needs to be quite powerful so we can finish the attacks and we can um, dominate our opponent. And then for the lower body, we have the hamstrings and the glutes. Quite often, the escapes we perform from the bottom, we need to do some kind of a shrimping and of a, and of a bridging movement. That shrimp, that uh, bridge, all these explosive movements, they come from our glutes. They come from our thighs. So basically the, the posterior chain are going to be mainly your glutes and your hamstrings. So you need to be able to have strong uh, strong legs as well, strong lower body for um, for takedowns, for wrestling and for escaping. We have all been there when we have a mouth control or, or side control, you know, and then somebody does a very uh, big and explosive bridge, he leaves us open air, he makes space and then he can escape. So that is the other reason why I have to do this. So it's not only so big, uh, so strength training for BJ doesn't always only help us improve on our attacks. It also helps us work to improve our defensive skills as well. So that's one of them for this case for making uh, bridging movements, creating space, and getting under hooks and moving out of the way. Um, but then the other one we can also use the posterior strength is when we were doing some takedowns as well. For example, you have somebody on a like, single leg, you have to hip in, so get your hips in so we can lift him up and then throw him down. Or you're doing a double leg, you know? You have to get up, lift him up again and take him down. So all this power, it comes from the, from, from the hips, from your glutes. So if you lack any posterior chain, then essentially you won't be able to be as efficient, you won't be able to pose your game as much because when you wrestle or when you grapple with somebody who is stronger than you, they'll be able to impose their game on you.
All right, guys, so these are the five most important things for which you have to consider for BJJ strength, uh, strength training. So if you want to learn more, hit me in the comments, send me a message, subscribe, like, share with your friends, and I'll see you soon.